Hello and welcome to lecture 27. This lecture is going to look at non-load-bearing partitions. So in the previous lecture we covered the principles of internal partitions and also looked at the construction of a basic timber-framed load-bearing partition. This lecture is going to look at the construction of a non-load-bearing partition built off the top of a concrete slab. So if we assume that you've watched the previous lecture, the build-up of the floor is exactly the same. And if you don't understand the, the build-up of the floor, have a look back through some of the lectures, look for the ground-bearing floor lecture. But effectively we've got a concrete slab sitting on insulation, we've got a DPM, blinded hardcore, and then underneath that is dirt. So as with the previous build-up, we want to put a separating membrane down. We're going to be able to put things on top of this concrete slab and we don't really want the chemicals within the concrete reacting with any battens that we're putting down. So a thin separating membrane, usually a kind of plastic based material, very similar to a DPM, would go down on top of the concrete. And onto that we would put uh, acoustic battens. Now these are particular types of battens, timber battens, and they have a foam base running along the length of them, which helps mitigate against the, the impact noise that you might get from walking about on the floor. And you'll notice the two battens in the middle, they would be the position for the partition. And onto that we can install floorboards or flooring panels. At that point, over the position of those two battens, we would install the lowest rail for the partition. So underneath the bottom rail, we'd probably want to run a bead of acoustic sealant. It's very similar to silicon sealant, and that would just help to seal the perimeter of the partition. So in the same way as before, we would then build up our studs and dwangs and frame out the wall. And then we can add our single layer of plasterboard, dense plasterboard, and the dense insulation between. And at the bottom, where the plasterboard comes to meet the flooring, again, just for safety's sake, we would run two beads of acoustic sealant. And then we would add our skirting board to cover the whole junction and to finish the, the job off. So, nice and quick. Conclusion. The key points to note are that acoustic battens reduce the sound produced by impact with the floor, which can then pass from room to room. A double row of acoustic battens is installed below the line of the partition, and that provides support for the partition down to the concrete floor below. A separating membrane is required underneath the battens to prevent any chemical reaction between the concrete and the foam on the underside of the battens. Acoustic sealant should be added around the perimeter of the partition and underneath the bottom rail. And a skirting board as previously, is installed to cover the junction between the partition wall and the flooring. Okay, thanks very much for listening, and any questions, let me know.